everybody. Well, today I have an unboxing, and this seems to be my unboxing shirt when I unbox my uh, my Camp Chef pellet smoker. I wore this shirt, so I'm gonna wear this shirt while I unbox this Barrel House cooker. The people at Barrel House Cooker uh, sent me out one of these um, smokers. Uh, it cost me nothing, uh, just for a 100% honest review. Now, I'm not getting paid from them. Uh, this is just kind of the deal. I'm just making everything out, uh, out in the open right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, Barrel House uh, cooker out and we're gonna assemble it. And then we're gonna, uh, over the next probably two, three weeks, I'm gonna be using this smoker in various operations and see, just see how it is. I see like the pit barrel smokers, I see the UDSs, and I see these all the other kind of smokers. I really like these, uh, like these, like these pit barrel, um, like these barrel type shaped smokers. They really intrigue me. So when I got offered to get one of these, I, this is the 18 inch one. I hopped on it. I couldn't wait. So I'm really, really excited about this. I think it's really cool. So, uh, uh, but the people over at Barrel House uh, Cooker, they already know uh, that this is going to be 100%. So if I see something that is that I personally don't like, I'm gonna let you guys know. All right. So I'm gonna get the uh, camera pointed down, and we're gonna get this thing open. Okay. So first thing I notice is that this thing is heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Which, if you have a smoker, you want it to be heavy. You want to have some weight to it. I'm going to put this to the side to put stuff on. Uh, this is where this stuff is. But I'll be going through all the uh, instruction manuals, the owner's manual, attention. Uh, okay, I'll read all that later. Just show you guys what all the stuff's in here. Okay, this is nothing in here. That's just... The packing is, is very nice. Okay, so this is the lid. That's, that's pretty good thick, pretty good thick steel. Now I have watched a couple of other um, unboxings of these, and uh, so I think I got a pretty good grasp on, on what to do. Okay, this is the bottom. This is where the, the ash goes into. This is where your damper uh, goes into right here to adjust the, uh, the airflow. Okay, here's all the goodies right here. This is the damper that goes on the bottom. Right here, and you adjust the, uh, I do notice that that's bent. This is bent right here. So that's not good. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So that's, that's broken out of the box right there. That piece is bent. That's not good. Um, but I can always just, I can always just hammer that straight. Not that big of a deal, but you expect for it to be, uh, you know, straightened out. But that's minor. Here's all the hardware. All the hardware, the legs to the, um, actually this is the legs. Now what I am noticing is that, is that the, the, the thickness of this metal is pretty thick. I'd say probably, I'd say probably about a, probably about 14, probably about 14 gauge steel, I'd say. This is the uh, charcoal basket. It's higher on one side here. This just kind of sits down. You got two grooves here. It kind of sits down here on the bottom one. Yeah. So that's that. This thing here will probably be wearing out. It's pretty thin. So that's probably going to be. Um, I'll probably have to order another one of these. Probably uh, within a year, I'd say, if I use this thing a lot. I'll have to order another one of those. Oh, my son and my wife are getting onto me because I point at everything. I'm like, I can't help it. I talk with my hands. Okay. Next thing here is the this is the H frame. This is where you hang everything from. Uh, notches are going to go up. I've learned that. So this is the H frame. That looks pretty. That looks pretty straight. No damage there. And this is your cooking grate. Okay. Uh, once again, um, if you do a lot of cooking on this, this looks like it's going to wear out. Um, probably. Probably maybe kind of quick. I wish this here was maybe a little bit thicker. You know, gauge steel, maybe a little bit thicker. That'd be good. But uh, you know, um, just giving my my own opinion. It's one guy's opinion. And now for the big Kahuna. All right. There we go. I'm gonna get the instruction manuals out, and I'm going to assemble it according to manufacturer's recommendations. All right, so the first step is we're going to put the handles on. Uh, Big Lou, I was watching Big Lou do one of these, and he made a good point. Um, 
the uh, the ones you have three of a kind. You have two that are angled in right here. You have one that's straight across. The one, this one, this for the lid to pick the lid up. This is for the side, the handle right there. Okay. Um, tools you're going to need. You're going to need a half inch. You're going to need a half inch ratchet, and you're also going to need a, a Phillips head screwdriver. I didn't know if they send any kind of wrenches or nothing with you with this, but uh, just make sure that you're prepared with that. Because I don't see any uh, a wrench or anything of the sort to put this thing together. And this is all the hardware that you need. Just some screws and washers, and that's about it. So this is going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to assume that you're just going to put the washer on there like that. Let me see what it shows on here. Yes, precisely. So it's going to be washer. It's going to washer on top of the screw. Then you're going to put the handle on, the angled part in. You're going to go on the inside here. I probably want to screw them all the way on. You got the hooks. You also got the thing to pick uh, the meat up out of the barrel with these right here. So they send you, uh, looks like two, four, six, they send you six, uh, eight hooks. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the lid. It's gonna go around top of here. Same way as we did this. Screw washer. Okay, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna continue uh, to do the other handles the same way and I'll be back for the next step. All right, now it's time to put the legs on. So they should have put them on like this. The curve, of course, on the inside. Like that. Update. I read the instructions a little bit more, and it says that this is a, for the legs here, is a 10 millimeter. So, just so you know. All right, so the next step is to install the damper screw. Um, the damper screw came in a separate little um, little package. I had actually had it hunt down for it. It was in the bottom of the box. I was actually thinking it might not have even been in the, in the box, but I, I didn't find it. It wasn't with everything else. So we're just gonna put a little, uh, this little screw in here. It's gonna screw it all the way down, and it doesn't attach to nothing. All it does, it just prevents the damper from opening up all the way. There we go. This is the bot. Is the bottom? Look at the bottom of it. Okay, so this is you open up the damper. Prevents it from opening up all the way. This is the top part of it. This here goes by your elevation. I'm in Florida, so I'll be one notch. So there we go. I think that's that for that right there. Next step. So the next step is to install the temperature gauge. I'd like to point something out, okay? 700 degrees. If this thing can get up to 700 degrees, that would be sick. Because every, I know if you get you know, the 500 on a regular offset smoker, you're doing some major, major damage to your smoker. But they're saying 700, that's just crazy. So what we're gonna do is to get the rubber ring to put on here, put it right around there. Insert that through the top. This way, that way you want to put it. So I'm gonna put it eh, about like right there. Flip it over, and then they say to put the cleat. To put this, they call this the cleat. Point this towards the center. Okay. And this is where this half inch is gonna come in, handy right here. If you're wondering, this hook is to hang the, uh, the lid on the side like that. That's what that hook's for, right there. I haven't seen anybody else demonstrate that, but that's what that hook's for, to hang it. There you go. Okay, go through the instruction manual here real quick. Okay, so this is what they explain here about the uh, elevation air intake settings. 1.0 to 2,000, 2.2,000 to 5,000, 3.5,000 to 8,000 feet, and 4 dots is 8,000 to 10,000 feet. Or if you just want to get your smoker higher, you just open up that damper, of course. So that's what that looks like. They can even give suggestions on how to hang the meat, which I like. 
especially uh, since I've never had one of these. Lighting and fuel, uh, cooling removal, accessory wand. And then here's uh, other, other things. You got you can convert it to a hibachi grill. This is different, three different settings that you can do it to hang, to smoke, and also to sear, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So. All right, there's that. Here's also something really cool the owner, owner's manual has. It has a cooking guide. So for people that don't, uh, you know, aren't too familiar with this setting of this uh, type. This is a really good little guide to go through. It has everything on there. Kebabs, pizza, pork ribs, shoulder, pork tenderloin, tri-tip, uh, turkey, and whole chicken. I might be doing a tri-tip here soon on this. So that's another cool feature. I think I like that. All right, so another feature that I noticed that a lot of uh, like the pit barrel smoker and also UDS doesn't have, which sets this one apart from them, is the fact that you can lift the whole drum up and set it on top. There we go, like that. So instead of having your arms or your hairs on your arms singe when you're trying to put that basket down inside there, you just set this right on top, which I think is a really cool feature. I, li I do like that. They got holes right here. See, you got some holes right here. Um, I think that's probably for venting, I would say. Um, I don't know if you, you can put a bar through there and hang up some more stuff. Let me ask for the H-frame. Let's find out. So this is the H-frame. This is what you hang everything on. So if you want to hang something, you hang it like that. Yeah, this has got to be for venting. It has to be for venting. You know, I could probably even modify this thing. Now, after I have this thing for a little bit, I'm going to do uh, the requirements R that they want me to do. And then I'm going to mod the crap out of this thing. I already see what I'm going to do. I can picture a Gabby's Grill, 18 inch Gabby's uh, Santa Maria Grill on top. Oh, man, this is awesome. I'm getting so excited. And here's the, uh, and if you want to, uh, here's the thing, if you want to do, if you want to grill, if I want to put the, uh, if I want to do the, uh, like, a, um, what you call it, um, the, the Santa Maria on here, I put right here, probably put the coals on top right there. Well, actually, this right here, that's for the coals. I'll figure this thing out. I got it. This goes down inside here. Got it. Okay, so the H-frame would go down here, like that. Then this, the charcoal basket. Now you have the groove on the outside here. I would say this right here is probably the top, but it's probably considered the top. So I'd fit that right on top of there, along with that. You get like some searing, if you want to sear, like that. Just like that, that'd be cool. Then if you want to, all right. It's flat right here on the side. It's flat right here. So whenever you take this thing out, make sure you pull it, have this flat side in. I just realized that. But that's what the basket looks like on the inside. Down like that. If you want to smoke. There we go. This would be for, if you want to put a water pan, you want to put a water pan down there while you're hanging your stuff up. Bam! There you go. I'm going to have to fun with this thing. It'd be pretty cool. So, uh, the next couple weeks I'll be doing a cook on this. Anyhow, thanks y'all for joining me in assembly of the Barrel House Smoker. Like I said, over the next couple weeks I'll be doing some cooks with this thing, which I'm pretty excited about. I've always wanted one, finally have one. Now it's time to have fun. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next week. See ya.